So this room here is the middle room in the house. It was originally a bedroom, but my husband and I thought it was a little awkward because if you back up, you can see this comes from our kitchen into that room. And it has another door on the other side that walks straight in to our hallway. Well, it just didn't really serve a purpose. We had it as an office for a little bit of time, but it would be awkward to kind of have a bedroom with two doors that people could walk through to the hallway and we really i wanted to use it as a dining room and really open up the house the floor plan i've kind of always thought about doing that ever since we bought the house so i will link some of the pictures below as we go through um right now of what it used to look like before we of course cut this hole in the wall I thought about maybe that somebody would be interested in seeing kind of the process that it goes through. Luckily, because my husband does this for a living, we have not spent any money doing this renovation except $40. And that was for the steamer, the wallpaper steamer that we purchased to get the paper backing of the linoleum off of the floor. So these are our hardwood floors. Now they do need to be refinished, but in person they're actually really neat looking because they do look very distressed um there's those are not stains that is some of the um, glue that held the laminate down and i didn't want to steam the floors too much getting everything off of it so that will sand off once we refinish the floors but all of this was covered with carpet carpet padding then this terrible green 1960s color of linoleum that was on the floor and so i pulled all of that up stripped that up off of the floor and then we bought the steamer and let me see i will show you what that looks like in case you ever want to do this project and excuse the mess like i said we're renovating so it looks kind of nasty since i've actually done the project but it hooks to a container that has water and that is all tar that you're seeing on that right now um it hooks to a container like a water reservoir and you plug it up and it just heats up and generates steam it runs i think they said 72 square foot is what it would do at a time and so i was able to place it down on the floor um i'll show you that too so you just place this so in order to get the results that I had there was the black paper that I'll link in a picture right now that was down on the floor and I just placed this on the floor let it steam for about um, 10 seconds pull it up and the paper backing and the tar would loosen and it would easily scrape off with just a scraping scraping knife like a that's used for drywall or for um, for putting, uh, let's see, what is it, the plaster on the walls and for scraping off paint. And so we did that. We originally cut this little square out into the wall because we were trying to decide if we just wanted a pass-through like some of the older homes have that is the year model of our house or if we wanted the whole wall out and eventually decided to do the whole wall. Once everything is down, we're going to have this whole entire wall down as well as the wall that goes into our kitchen um, here from, and again, it's a mess right now, The this wall here all the way over into this room and this wall will all be down as well. So what we're doing is we're taking this drywall knife that my husband gave me and I am just cutting out the top. Friends, as you can see, this is not going too well. Um, you'll see in a few minutes further down um, where you're able to reach it better and it's not so far over my head that it's a little bit easier to do. My husband tried to give me his um, saw that cuts the drywall, but I was afraid to use it at first because of the electrical, but he shows me how to use it later on and it is a lot better. 
so just go ahead and use the saw <laughs> don't try to use this little tool it was so hard and i was getting nowhere as you can see What you're seeing now is a few days later, I ended up stripping off all of the sheetrock the day that you saw previously, however my battery died. And so I'm picking up the next day and you're seeing what the kitchen originally looked like, the Hoosier cabinet in the way and that wall that we're gonna be taking down. That is the project that I'm gonna be working on in the clips that you're gonna see going forward. And right now I'm just kind of showing you what it looked like after I stripped all the sheetrock off that the camera died for and you didn't get to see. So we had this as an office, but we are slowly turning it into a dining room. You can see the still some stuff left from the office sitting in there. It's just a slow process. So I'll show you the other side of the room. Sorry for it being so shaky. So we have already taken out one wall that was separating these two rooms so that we can make an open concept. Sorry, this is so shaky, guys, it's on my phone. So through here, in the living room, you can see there's our hallway, and eventually this will just be one big open space going straight into the kitchen. So it is a work in progress. But today's job is tearing out all of this. So I'm gonna set you up so you can see. Here I am again trying to use that darn knife. It is way too hard. So I do have the saw that my husband gave me sitting on the couch and eventually get up the nerve to try to use it. I just don't like electrical stuff, but he did tell me how to use it and so we start using it and it goes by so much faster.
Now what you're seeing is some still shots that I took once all the sheetrock was down. It definitely opened up the house, made it feel a lot brighter, even with what was still in place. Really got me excited for what it was going to look like once everything was down. It's crazy how much light it let back into the house. Here's my husband moving the um, electricity from the wall so that we could still have our light switch. And here he is under the floor adding in support. Because we were taking out a load-bearing wall, you do have to add in extra support, dig down, um, create a new foundation for all of that weight to bear on. I could not have done any of this without him, and the puppies thought they were helping. There is the one wall down. That's not a load-bearing wall, so we were able to rip that out. That wall is load-bearing, which was the reason he was under the floor adding support. Everything um, covered so that while he was tearing everything else down that it didn't get dusty. Here he is building the fake wall that has to go up, a wall on each side of the wall that was there. So he's already taken down the wall, and there it is, totally complete. I hate that I didn't get videos of all of that. I was at work while he was doing it. Definitely opened up the space. So there's a recessed beam that you can see there in that picture that he actually crawled up in the attic, put it up in there with hangers to support the weight of our roof. And there we are cutting the tile that is going back up into the ceiling. It's like Celotex tile for the older homes. And there's the floor that we piece together for the time being until we redo them. So here's the picture after we have everything back in place. My husband installed the light fixture that you're seeing. We got that on Amazon and I love it. We also hung up curtains and I, I just love the way that this turned out. I love the fact that the wall is down. It's letting so much more light into the house. It's a lot more open since our house is so small to begin with. We still need to move the printer to the office and we still need to redo the floors, but a little bit at a time. And again, the whole project was so cheap because we did everything ourselves. I definitely could not have done this without my husband. Um, he does an amazing job and I absolutely love the way it turned out. So like if you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below if y'all also do any of your renovations yourself and I will see you next time.